Good afternoon, everyone. I'll take you over to my Linux right away. And all we're going to do today is a vanilla buffer uh, overflow. I've already turned off ASLR, which I've shown in other videos. Um, so this is the simplest of simple when it comes to buffer overload. So I have a simple program here to uh, exploit. Sets up a buffer of 512 bytes. SCR copy uh, doesn't do bounds checking, so it's a very vulnerable uh, part of the C language. So what we will do, we've I've already compiled this with GCC, and we will jump right into it with our GDB. So I will show you how to do a buffer overflow. GDB Q to quiet things down and exploit me. So we're gonna disassemble the main function. And as we can see here, uh, to subtract from the stack pointer right here is zero times 218 in hex. So what I can do is print uh, the decimal to P slash D and do 218. That's going to give me 536. So that's the size of my stack right now is 536 bytes. Um, just to make it uh, easier, let's print 536 divided by 4 in the, into words. So now with 134, um, I know the return address and the, uh, the base pointer are going to be an extra 2. So that would bring us to 136. So... I will display 136 words in hex from the ESP. Whoops. Dollar sign ESP. Here we go. So I will also display two integers of EIP, which is our index pointer. It points to the next instruction. And good. So um, next I'm going to set a breakpoint up. If you look through the assembly here, you can see our str copy function call is right here. So I'm going to put it here, uh, copy that, and we'll put in a breakpoint with a B and put in our breakpoint there. Okay. So now I'm going to run and I'm going to put an input of just a whole bunch of A's. And we will see how this looks. So let's run that. So nothing here, of course. Um, what we can do uh, right now is uh, examine this one over here. This should be our return function that goes to libc uh, main. So the return zero at the end of the C program. And as you can see, this is libc start main. So this is a return address. Um, if I print... Um, the base pointer, it's at 788. So here's 780 and here's 788 right here. So this is our base pointer. So um, we will look back up here and what we will see is there's nothing um, in yet. So we will execute the syscall for this. And as you can see, 414141 starts off right here and works all the way down. This is our inputs we just passed into the program. 41 is A in hex. Okay, so we're quite a ways off from um, hitting the uh, return uh, to libc start main down here. And that's where we're going to insert a jump instruction once we overwrite everything else. So now that we know what's going on inside here, um, let's try running the program this time with some Python. Everyone should know Python. So Python C, and now we will print um, capital A. And now our, we said our buffer size was 5, 512 at the beginning of the program. So let's run it with this. Okay, so let's we're at the str copy call just before it. Let's hit our next instruction. And as you can see, boom, 414141. We have the stack filled up with four ones, except for this last line right here. So we have four, eight, 12 more um, bytes will cover up the EBP. So, and then 
we need to put our jump address back up to the top of the program at a return function. So let's go ahead and just add another 12 to this, make it 524. And actually, let me just continue this program and exit it first. Okay, so let's run it with 524 this time. Okay, so we're at the STR copy, next instruction. As you can see, 4141, and this time we're all the way down. Okay, so what happens when we do this? We're gonna get an illegal instruction right here. So it is crashing because the base pointer don't know where it is anymore. Okay, so let's try overwriting that um, return function at, or exit function at the bottom. So I'm going to add four more bytes just with Bs. And I think that's right, there we go. Now let's run this one. Okay, we'll hit our next instruction. And as you can see, all the A's are there. And now when you get down to the return function right here to libc start main is 424242. And this is our B's in hex. So we've successfully overwritten everything within the program here. So let's continue. And here we get a segmentation fault. We caused it to crash, which is what we are looking for. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we got that to crash. Now we need to start thinking about how we're going to uh, exploit this program. So what we will start doing here is um, at the beginning of my program, instead of the A's, which was just for demonstration, I'm going to fill it with knobs, which is X90. This just means no operation. I'm going to put 200 of these at the beginning. Okay, so that's 200. So we had 524 brought us up to covering our EBP. So 524 bytes. So we have 524 bytes to write. So we take, um, whoops, okay, no big deal. Um, what I will do now is cat payload. This is a payload I just made up. Um, and here we go. And as you can see right here, here's our hex payload. Um, this is 35 bytes. So now we have 235. So let's put 235 bytes. That's our 200 knobs and our 35 payload. And now let's haul it our calculator because I am not a math whiz. Um, here we go. So we have 524 minus 235 for the knots in our payload. And that's 289. So we have 289 left. So um, 289, and we can fill this in with anything, but I'll use an A. Okay, so now we're starting to get our exploit crafted here. This payload, by the way, I've written is just bin sh um, that I did out with um, some assembly. It's is a nice, simple, simple payload. Okay, so now that brings us right up to the the base pointer, and then we need to uh, write a jump instruction back up to the knobs on the exit and the return. So we will get back to our terminal. And now let's let's continue this till it closes. Okay, so now let's get back to exploiting this little program and we'll go back to our Python. And for the first print, I'm gonna put a slash X90, which is my knobs. And we said we were gonna put 200 knobs in. So that's that. Um, after the knob, we are gonna put my payload in. So we'll put a, oops. We'll go over here and grab that payload and just copy it. Okay, so let's put this over here. And there's our 35 bit payload. And now we need to add in 289 A's. So we put A and then times 289. Now that should take us right up to our EBP 
and I will run this and just make sure nothing's wrong. And we will do that and cover up our EBP. And then we'll do the next step of actually exploiting this program. Um, no, there is a problem here. Okay, let me debug this. Oh, I can see the problem here now. Here we go. Let's try that. There we go. Simple, simple little program problem. Okay, so let's hit our next instruction. And as you can see, the NOPs are all filled in here really cool. And then once you hit here, you can see this uh, different code right here before our 4141A. This is our sh bin SH shell code uh, that's put onto the stack. So I'm going to hit enter. And as you can see, right up to our EBP is now covered with A. So we put in 289As right up to here. Now, the next step to get this to work, we need to put a jump instruction in here. Um, and I'll show you where we get that. So we come back up here. I'm going to choose this one right here. And this is where we're going to jump back in. And it'll hit bin sh and get us root shell. So um, I'm going to put this down in my notes. OK, so little Indian convention, everything goes backwards into the stack. So we are going to pull our um, exploit up. I'll continue this program. It's going to illegal instruction because we totally fucked up the EBP. Um, so what we will do next is let's go back to what we had written. Um, Take this out, and now we're going to add in one, two, three, four, four hex instructions. I forgot to put the quotes around this, and then it'll be another one and a close. Okay, so first things first, let's go over to our notes here, and we need to put in three zero. We're we're reading this backwards, so three zero. Okay, so the next. Uh, instruction. Let's get over here. Now we have F4 is our next uh, bit of info we got to put in. Let's open up this. Let's go F4. Okay, now let's go back and we have FF and BF. So let's put in FF and BF. Okay, I think my Linux is good, my Python's good, and we're gonna run this. Now this is jumping back up onto the stack and it'll run it down into the bin sh. So let's have a go here. And as you can see, uh, everything is good. Let's continue on. And as you can see, boom down here, who am I? I am the professor. I have shell um, so I can IF config. Boom. So this is me um, exploiting a program. And this is the basics of a buffer overflow attack, a very vanilla one with ASLR and all that kind of fun stuff turned off. Uh, I will expand on this as the weeks progress. I hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for listening. If you guys can share this, it'll make making these videos worthwhile. Thank you so, so much. Bye.